Okay, so we are in Keynote and we're going to remove the background of this image. We'll start with a really simple image. It's got just a flat background, just all one color, white. So we go to Format. If you don't see this side panel here, just make sure, make sure you are in Format. Then go to Image and then just remove background and we'll see that voila, it is done. But we still have white here and we want it, the whole thing to be transparent, these white parts. So we just click in there and maybe pull it to around 10% or so. Just make sure you get all the white. If you want, you can zoom in up here. You can zoom in closer if you can't really see, but in this case, I don't need to. So something like that. If you do too much, you'll get something like that. So be careful, just around 10% or so to get rid of all the white. And then in here too, this is a little bit kind of dirty gray white so we don't want to do too much something like that again it's not perfect if we want to use photoshop that's what we'd use to do something that's more perfect but when we're done just click done and there we go so how does that look yeah it looks pretty good right because it was a solid white background it's very simple okay so how about with this vintage american football again it's all white background click on the image go over here to remove background we could adjust it more but you know that's good enough so we go to done there it is. And then how could we use that in a real situation in a slide? Let's say we're talking about vintage uh, football 1933 game between Oregon and Oregon State where they invented the uh, where the Beavers invented the pyramid play which is blocking picking guys up to block the kick. And they did that for a few weeks and then they uh, made it uh, forbidden to do such a thing. But it, that's just all in keynote so we could use a vintage photograph and then have that kind of animation with it. Okay, so how about a football with, uh, it's basically a solid background, but there's a little bit of gradient and there's a lot of gray and white in there. Does it work just as well? And yeah, that's, that's pretty good, right? So that looks pretty good. How could we use that? Let's say we put it into something like this, add a little video. Yeah, okay. How about a photograph like this with a background that has a little bit of gradient in it, but it's basically all one color. Let's see how this works. Click the picture, remove background, and we see that we have a little bit. And actually, if you do it like this, uh, you probably can get all of it. You can get the hair up there on the right side, and then we get in between the hands. All right? So that, that's really good. But what if you didn't? Let's go back. So let's say we removed the background and we said, yeah, we're okay with that. But then later we noticed, oh, we got this part here. So you can just go back. If you want to zoom in as well, just a little bit closer. For example, on the hair, we just hit remove background again. And then we can go in there a little bit closer to make the hair a little bit better. Again, it's as much time as you take. You take your time. If you want to really zoom in there, for example, let's go 400%. Then it's a little bit easier. We just want this little bit here. Again, this is not... Perfect, you could do a much better job in Photoshop, but this is good enough and no one's gonna notice. And then there was this part here between the hands. Here we go. That's good, and a little bit here. And yeah, it's not, no one's gonna notice. There's a little bit down here, but I think that's okay. And then say done, and then how would that look? So that's our original, and there it is inside the classroom. Okay, in this example, so you'll notice that it's not all one solid color, but because this photo has a, a little bit shallow depth of field, so that means she's going to really pop out a little bit. should be pretty easy. Let's see. We just hit the photograph, hit remove background, and yeah, that's really good. You can see up here there's a little bit of you know work that we could do on it, but I think it's good enough. Let's see if we put that inside an image, something like this. Yeah, you can't even tell. That's good enough, right? Good enough. What I want to do is just make the background black and white. It already has a kind of good depth of field, so it's a little bit bokeh there. But I want this, I want the color to be removed from the background so that he'll pop out more, and I, ha I want to put some text in there. So what I do is just copy it. I'm going to paste it in a bit. But first, I'm going to click on the picture, remove background. There we go. So that's pretty good, but it's a little bit up here. We want to get on the neck, and we could mess with that a little bit. And then right here... A little grass showing here, but it's pretty good, right? And then we can just paste that image again over it and move it to the bottom. And then we can get something like this kind of effect. So let's say we're doing a presentation about the cost of university. So we go from this one to this one. So there's just a, a dissolve in between, right? We go from this color, dissolve in between, and then we get this. So it's just easier to see the text there. Right, and that was made possible because of this effect. So we go from this to this.
but with a dissolve makes it a much smoother effect. Okay, so with this slide, let's say this is a title slide for the seminar. So that's the final product, but how do we do that? This is the first image, and just like with the previous one, as you can see over here. So what I did is just pop her out using the remove background here. And then I have this wave, so I can just, again, remove the background. That's really simple. It's all solid, one color. And then also I cut the wave in half. So you can see what I have here is I just have the background image, then the background wave, then she's on the layer a little bit closer to us, and then there's the front wave. I just cut it, so you get this kind of effect, right? There she is there. So we have this as the first layer on top, then her, then the background wave, and then that's our um, stage. And text is, on, of course, on the very top. Okay, here's a photo of a deer in Nara. So that's too big. Obviously, we're not going to get these whiskers, this kind of thing. Uh, so we remove the background, then we get something like this, and then you could see how we could use that in a real situation. We start with the deer, and then let's say we have some guidance for how to enjoy the deer in Nara Park. Okay, just to show you how easy it is. So all of these, well, except this one, they're all, they're not solid backgrounds. So look how, but look how easy it is. So just remove background, voila, remove background. They're not perfect, but pretty close. If we had more time, we could spend a little bit more time to make it even better. But that's pretty darn good. And then you could see, well, how could we use that in a real situation? So you might get something like this. Okay, and the last thing, you can always export any of these. For example, you could export this just as a photo, and all of this would be transparent. Just make sure that you have no fill. And now when you export this, you can just go here and export as a, an image. Just let's say that's uh, just slide four. And then we want to make sure we choose PNG because that will keep the transparency. So it looks black here, but it will actually be transparent. Let's find that image. We just called it old football. So there's the old football that we just exported, and we're going to import it. It's a, pink, a P, it's a PNG, so it has a transparent background. And you could put this into iMovie or DaVinci Resolve, any movie editing software, and you're going to be able to use that. Okay, another one would be, let's say we want this, we want to export this, and we're just going to use this as a, a movie. It's a short clip for our movie, so we just say we start here, we go to export, and we can export it as a movie. Just that sequence. So we go to 14, slide 14 to slide 15. All right, so we're in here in a video editing software. These were the two slides, slide 14 and 15, which we saved as a video. And as you can see, that works well. We can just play it. Okay, so just remember to remove background, hit remove background. And if you regret that, if you want to do it again, you can just hit remove background again and reset. Thank you.